Melanie walked down the path to meet her girlfriends and other, other kids that were uh, several years older than her. That was the last time that she was seen. That was 20 years ago. I just always wanted to believe that she was gonna come back. And there's still a part of me that really wishes that she would just show up. But uh, we all kind of know that that's not what we're dealing with. Melanie was a very outgoing little girl, young girl, very happy little girl, had the biggest dimples you ever saw. She was always at a smile on her face and never really let anything get her down. Excited to be a freshman in high school? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was a joy. We split off right, right here. She was going home to her grandmother's house and um, you know, she continued on through, through the field. But this was the last place I saw her. My mom called me the following morning and said to me, Melanie didn't come home last night and she's not at Laurie's house. And Laurie was her girlfriend's house that she was supposed to be sleeping over. Did you begin at that point calling all of her friends' houses to see if she was there? Yeah. Her grandmother stopped by my, my house to see if I, you know, if Melanie had slept over. I said, I'm sorry, you know, she wasn't here. Did the family immediately think she also was dead or did they continue to hold out hope? There was hope that maybe she had run away. There was hope that she had gone to a friend's home that evening, that she'd be home later the next day. But hope turned to suspicion, and suspicion turned to heartbreak as the days became weeks and weeks became months. 